I'll be taking a look at the PSP 2000 or what they call the PSP Slim and Light. I got the white PSP Star Wars uh, Renegade Squadron Dome Edition. You got your D-pad right here. Two uh, speaker grills. Your traditional uh, buttons for PS for Sony Square X Circle and Triangle. You only got you got one analog stick. You got some uh, indicators for your memory stick and Wi-Fi. Over here, got a home button, volume up and volume down. A brightness setting. You can go three settings, but if you're plugged in the wall, you can go four. A button to turn off the uh, sound completely, or an equalizer button, but the equalizer only works if if uh, headphones are plugged in. And then select and start button. <clears throat> and uh, over here you got the power and hold. And I'm currently charging it and uh, orange light appears if you're charging it. Then on the bottom of the PSP you got your uh, headphone jack. And the other thing on the side is for uh, a remote control you can buy separately. And it's for uh, plugging it into the TV if you want to do that. Only the PSP 2000s and the 3000s can be plugged into the TV. The older ones, uh, and I don't, and uh, I think the PSP uh, Go can be plugged into, plugged into a TV too, also. And right down there, you can plug in a wrist strap if you want one. And uh, moving on to the top, you got L button, R button. You got a. Wi-Fi indicator turn on, on the Wi-Fi turn off the Wi-Fi you got your standard USB uh, jack you could download movies music and all that stuff to it to your PSP over here that little notch right there you can flip it open and uh, I'll show you and that's where all your uh, P UMD games go for your PSP over there and going on to the back you got your PSP logo with the little uh, circle it says PSP, then mine comes with a picture of uh, Star, uh, Darth Vader, because this is the Star Wars edition, one of the Squadron Dome edition. <clears throat> then on this side, you just got your button to turn it off and on, and hold hold switch, and you could uh, take out the battery with this little uh, button right here. I don't know if you can see it too well, but right there. You just hold it up for two seconds, and the PSP will turn on. So we got PlayStation Store, Network, I mean, Network, Game, Video, Music, Photo, and Settings. Under Net PlayStation Store, our network, you could download uh, games from a PlayStation Store, movies, and all that stuff. In Network, you could uh, get on the internet, but the internet browser is not better than the PSP. It's pretty terrible. Well, I guess it's better than nothing. Then you got... Skype and it can only be used on the 2000 or 3000 <clears throat> But it's pretty cool and you do on the 2000 you do have to have an extra Microphone because there's no microphone built in so a headset or a PSP camera that sits on top will let you uh, get on Skype Then you got game on the memory stick you can put your games from the Sony store if you buy them Then those are your saved data from our games you play Then you got your videos to watch all your videos Music, just you can uh, put in MP3s, MP4s, AAC, all those uh, different formats. You got your photos. Click on that to go on your photos. And no, there's no camera on on the, any PSPs, but you can get one that steps on the top of that. And I currently got it. I might review that uh, in another video if you'd like me to. And there's settings. You got network, USB, video settings, photo settings, system settings. Theme settings, date settings, power, and connect display settings. And yes, only the 2000, 3000, and the Sony PSP Go can uh, actually be connected to a TV if you'd like. Sound, sound, uh, network settings. And yes, you can actually change the background of the PSP. Like that blue background with the little uh, lines, you can actually change it. You could change it to your photos, set a photo as a background, or you could do one of those uh, custom themes, which they got, which are free if you go on the internet and look them up. 
then on the side you got the date and time then you got your battery indicator and it'll blink if the battery is being charged or if it's low on battery and it's about to die and here I'll show you the brightness settings You got three brightness settings, but four if you plug it into a, the wall, and mine's currently plugged into the wall. So, yeah. <clears throat> that's pretty much all for the PSP 2000. It's a. Yeah. Then you just uh, press the button on the side to turn off. Hold it like one second. If you uh, hold the button one second. It'll actually go into like a standby thing, like the DS. If you close the lid, it's not actually fully turned off though, so you're still actually wasting battery. If you hold it up for like ten, three or four or five seconds, it actually goes into fully off mode, which means fully off though. But that means like if you're playing a UMD or a PSP game, when you turn it back on, it'll reset the system though. If you tr fully turn off every time, just like the iPod Touch or like the DS. <clears throat> I give this system an eight eight out of ten because. Uh, the battery is actually pretty terrible on the 2000 and 3000 because they had to shrink the battery to make it in a slimmer version. I would recommend the extended battery. If you're just buying this for an MP3 player, I do not recommend it because it only goes about 4 hours, which is really bad. <clears throat> and uh, for movies, no, I don't, wouldn't recommend it either. Even though the screen is pretty big, the battery life is pretty bad. And... Uh, I would only recommend this if you're if you have a certain game that's only on the PSP and you really want to play you should get this but as of right now you shouldn't get the PSP because uh, there's not that many new games coming out for right now and uh, the new PSP is gonna come out or the NGP or whatever it's called I'm not quite sure what it's called but it should be out like at the end of this year or next year but if you're looking to get a portable Sony system you should get this one I prefer it over the PSP go because a lot of the games on the PSP 2000 and 3000, even the 1000, they don't make on the store, and the PSP Go doesn't got a, a UMD drive, which means you actually can't play some of the older games that they made on this that were really good. <clears throat> so, I hope you enjoyed the uh, review of the Sony PSP 2000 or Slim and Light Edition.